Hello all, this is Dr. Dave Maslach talking to you about reciprocity.com. The E is written with a three and in this particular video I want to talk to you about how do you actually evaluate a doctoral dissertation. So if you don't know me, I'm an associate professor of innovation strategy and entrepreneurship and I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There were so many people that helped me out that I wanted to pay the favor forward and help you out. So I created this sharing economy editing um, software, you can check it out. That's what reciprocity.com is. And then I'm doing these YouTube videos and uh, we're also building out a blog. <laughs> um, all right, so in terms of evaluating doctoral dissertations, I think most people when they're doing this, and I've been on a couple of doctoral dissertation committees, um, you know, I've also had my own doctoral uh, dissertation that I was working on. And uh, there's, there's really two things that we're looking for, I think, in terms of, you know, and this is, this is true of all science and true of all work that's being done in science. And, and it's really the first one is comprehensiveness. Now does the, and this is really thinking about, does the dissertation or the thesis, does it actually cover enough material? And that's gonna be an important thing is thinking about, is it really looking at all that we can look at for that particular topic, right? So are you citing all the different literatures and the different sections, you know, all those kind of things. And then the second thing, and I think this is the more important thing, is, you know, is this valid, right? So does the logic within the dissertation, within the study, does it all appear to be sound or valid? So valid being that is it representing actually what you're trying to represent, right? So is there some sort of meat in there that uh, makes a lot of sense in terms of describing the particular thing that you're looking at, the particular phenomenon that you're looking at, and does the study that you're doing, is that is there a lot of validity behind that, right? So um, what we're trying to do is at the end of the day, uh, when people are sitting down with your dissertation, at least this is the way that the view should be. It's not necessarily that we're trying to be mean or you know critical or anything like that, um, but really it's just to give you a fighting chance with, um, with that dissertation to get an, a publication out of it or multiple publications out of it. Because you know it's really, really difficult to get a scientific publication, whatever that's gonna look like. And, and you know, everybody's scientific area, every area of research is gonna be different. But in general, there are some things that we're really looking for um, other than, you know, that sort of are relating to the comprehensiveness and the validity of the dissertation. So the first thing is, is does the theory hold um, without the data, right? So if you just looked at the theory that you've developed uh, in the front end of the paper and the back end of the paper, you know, it doesn't make sense without any sort of data there, right? You don't necessarily need the data there to show anything um, or explain anything, but you should have some data in a dis dissertation. But really you're looking for is, does it actually make a lot of sense, right? In of itself. Um, and the second thing, and I think this is more for the empirical um, dissertations, but I think most dissertations are this way, is, uh, you know, does the data collection appear sound? Did you do everything that you should be doing? Is there anything else that you sort of forgot about or didn't include? And, and I think, um, you know, a lot of dissertations, that's where the problems are gonna be, right? So on the front end, the theory, um, a lot of dissertations that are sort of problematic, they're not necessarily focused. And so the theory doesn't hold together. And the second thing is, um, you know, thinking about how the data in the data is collected, right? So if you don't do a good job of collecting the data and putting it all together, then it's really hard to get published uh, going forward. You could always um, think about different ways to adapt the theory uh, to, to the data, but it's difficult once you've collected all the data to do anything with that. And that's really what people are looking for. Um, you know, and then, you know, the third thing, and this is probably, you know, less important, but it's still really important, is thinking about the methods. Now, does the methods actually match the theory? Does it match the data? Is it actually answering a research question? Are you looking at a research question? You know, all those kind of things are gonna be really important, right? So you should be thinking about the particular methodological approaches that you're using, and does it actually make sense to address uh, what you're trying to do within the dissertation? 
I, I, and then the sort of last part of it is, you know, and this is not necessarily as important as you think, um, but you know, are the results sound, right? So the results are not necessarily as important as the development of the theory at the beginning. And then, you know, the data collection and things like that, because, you know, they do change. And, uh, you know, as long as you're walking through and you kind of have sort of a methodology with the results, that's what we're looking for rather than, you know, is it is it the right answer or the wrong answer, right? We're looking for, does it actually make a lot of sense? Does it sort of follow through? Does it deliver on what you've done in the past in, in the dissertation? Right, so that's what we're looking for. And then the other thing, you know, it's some of the questions you might be thinking about is looking at the magnitude of the results. Well, if, if, if you're looking at something at, you know, it should be, you know, it, it, the, the number should be around 10 and your results have millions in them, then the magnitudes are off, right? And so you were looking for things like that because it's not necessarily clear with all this kind of stuff in terms of what the right answer is, but as long as it makes sense, in terms of how you actually got there. And then what we're also looking for is looking at the dissertation in general, the whole thing in general, d does the entire dissertation, does it, is, is there a method to it? Does it make sense, right? If you take a step back, is it all making sense with what you're trying to do? And then finally, the implications, and, and some people actually spend a lot of time on the implications, because it's really important to think about is you know what are the implications for what you've actually done and those things are going to be really important and so you could do it for the implications should be for the specific data or the context um, as well as the theory now i know some people do do stuff for practical implications but in many fields um, it's less important and uh, it's you know it's not necessarily as important in our field you know it seems weird right, in terms of somebody that does management. But the theoretical implications are a lot more important than the practical implications, right? So that's what we're looking for, is is just in, in general, is this all making sense, right? Does everything appear valid? And did you cover everything that you should be covering with this, right? Is it comprehensive? And if you do that, then you're going to get the vast majority of your dissertation um, it's going to be evaluated positively. There's probably going to be changes and stuff like that. But um, in general, we're just trying to make sure that you've done everything that you should be trying to do and you're not missing out sort of large holes. Um, you know, we're really just kind of getting you through to the point that, yes, you could take this dissertation, try to get it published with it, and uh, you'll have a fighting chance within the review process. You know, the worst thing that you could do is do a dissertation that nobody's going to read and then you can't get published. That's going to be really difficult for you. So we're trying to work really hard to get you to the point that you can actually publish this thing. So we're going to ask questions up front where it, the environment is a little bit more tamer um, and you can, uh, you can address some of these issues before you actually go through the review process. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. I do appreciate it. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.